and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. At least 99 people killed in Sierra Leone explosion. Many of the victims were allegedly trying to collect fuel after an accident on the road. Tanker truck explosion causes massive loss of life in Sierra Leone's capital city of Freetown. The blast occurred in the early hours of Saturday after the tanker collided with another vehicle. There are 30 seriously burned victims in the hospital who are not expected to survive. According to Central Morgue officials in Sierra Leone's capital, more than 90 people have been killed in a fuel tanker blast in Freetown this morning. A Freetown tanker truck explosion caused massive loss of life, with 100 people feared dead. The blast occurred in the early hours of Saturday after the fuel tanker had collided with another vehicle and people gathered to collect leaking fuel. Many of the victims were allegedly trying to collect fuel after an accident on the road. Residents who tried to collect the fuel leaking from the truck were victims of the subsequent explosion, Freetown's Mayor Yvonne Aki Sawyer wrote in a statement on Facebook, but later deleted this part. The claim that people were collecting fuel is supported by footage of excited people standing around the tanker, some carrying canisters, which was allegedly taken shortly before the explosion. Freetown officials report that the city morgue received 91 bodies following the explosion so far. The head of the National Disaster Management Agency, NDMA, said it was a terrible, terrible accident. In the hours after the incident, the death toll cited by officials has been steadily increasing. Vice President Mohamed Julda Jalo said at least 92 people were killed after visiting two hospitals which received victims. A later update revised it to 95. A deputy health minister later put the death toll at 99. According to the Connaught Hospital staff member, there were 30 seriously burned victims who were not expected to survive. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group. Or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etrobonews.com or travelnews.online.